What's up everyone? My name is Gothix and for today's video, I thought it would be cool to take a break from the standard, I guess, intense content that I typically produce on this channel. The reason that I wanted to make this video is because, um, is because, I, you know, some of you have followed me from when I originally started making content as a gamer and a comedian over on Twitch. So you know how open I am about my mental health struggles, but a lot of people on this channel don't. And, and, and also a lot of you guys don't even know much about me aside from what I tell you or what's on my social media, but I think it's important for you to, uh, hear this so you can understand that I am a human being and I, and, and I come in peace because uh, I think it's very easy to look at someone on your screen and, you know, whether it be a, you know, a, a YouTuber, a celebrity, whatever, look at someone on your screen and, and think that you, uh, you know, everything it is to know about this person, how this person ticks. And, and even with like just social media, um, you know, meeting people online, I think a lot of the times people... Uh, think they know or, or understand that individual's entire life experience just based on the few instances that they, uh, you know, get insight into their life, whether it be like an Instagram post or a tweet or whatever. And that's just, that's just not realistic. So I am, like I said, I'm very open about my mental health, especially after, you know, when I had my run in with cancel culture, uh, it really fucked me up <laughs> like psychologically it messed me up and uh that's one of the reasons i don't stop talking about cancel culture uh to all of these cancel culture deniers because uh these folks don't understand what it's like on the other side of it you know it's very easy to stand up on a soapbox and complain about uh holding someone accountable on the internet thinking that you're actually helping uh but when it's all said and done who's there to pick up the pieces uh with the person that you've held accountable or sometimes even wrongfully held accountable but anyways, I digress. I'm human. I, you know, I go through my spurts of depression, anxiety, things like that. And uh, this week in particular was very, very difficult for me. And, um, and, and, and it's, a, it's a week by week thing because this type of content that I'm doing is very new. You know, like I said, I was making video game content. I was making people laugh doing the dumbest shit over on Twitch. And that was my entire, that was my entire career. That's what I did. And moving into this territory, this isn't something that I um, typically, uh, this isn't something that I would say I wanted to do, but rather I need to do because I know what lies ahead. I have a rough idea, I would say, of what lies ahead. And America and the whole world, for that matter, has not even reached the tipping point, the climax of what's on the other side. I'm trying to be as vague as possible because you know how YouTube likes to label things as conspiracy theories, and apparently conspiracy theories are now harmful rhetoric, so... Anyone that's been paying attention and researching uh, beyond systemic racism in America knows what I'm talking about when I say that we have some dark times ahead. We are not there yet, but we have some very dark times ahead. And uh, I, I believe that we are in the middle of several wars. We're in the middle of a culture war. Uh, and, and we're also in the middle of a psychological war. Um, I believe that the media in particular has exploited a lot of people's mental health, uh, taking advantage of the fact that a lot of society has been locked at home because of COVID quarantine and all that stuff. A lot of people have been isolating themselves uh, from COVID or isolating themselves because of political uh, polarization. And 
all of this is weighing down on people mentally and i know this because i get a lot of emails from you guys you know i i i read almost every email i unfortunately i can't respond to everyone but um one thing that i have noticed consistently with a lot of these messages that i get is people are in this constant cycle of what's the word despair in this constant cycle of despair and and i understand completely how easy it is to fall into that right you you know you especially if you've woken up and you've started to pay attention to what's actually happening in the state of the world it's very easy to find yourself doom scrolling is what i like to call it being on social media and just like scrolling looking at all the negative stuff it's almost like just you're, you're torturing yourself uh, you're just uh, attached to any new breaking news that comes out and trying to, you know, not panic as you figure out how you can uh, help in some way when you feel helpless yourself. I get that. I, I totally, totally understand. Um, but that said, I think that the media exploiting people's um, mental health is part of the plan. And whatever lies ahead, whatever is going to happen in the next few months or year, whatever, uh, we need to be prepared for it. And we are literally useless if our mental health is destroyed because this is the thing that's going to help. I always talk about callousing your mind and uh, sucking it up because, let's be real, uh, we have a bunch of... Uh, a, a lot of the younger generations, uh, they're running around complaining about microaggressions or, or uh, using the wrong pronoun. And although I find those to be overreactions for things that on, in the grand scheme of things don't actually matter, uh, I am still very much concerned for these individuals because if that is your reaction to something so superficial, like if somebody misgenders me or somebody says, uh, you know, uh, you speak well for a black girl and I act like my entire universe crumbles, I would not be able to survive in a situation where something legitimately traumatic happens. Like, let's say if another world war started, would I legitimately be able to keep it together or would I still be crying over the fact that someone used a microaggression towards me? Just to put things into perspective. Although I see a lot of people commenting and saying, okay, I've shared this video to all my friends, you're helping me, and I, and I appreciate everyone that, um, you know, appreciates my content, but still, uh, I I tend to beat myself up a little bit because I see how many folks are still looking at the world through a very narrow lens. Uh, they see my videos and and they think of uh, the, instead of taking it for what it is, they 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 project and put their own agenda onto it. Uh, Vanessa's doing this just for money. Vanessa's doing this because it's the newest trend and she's trying to be like Candace Owens. Vanessa's doing this because, listen, I was fine just making gaming content. I was fine just using Snapchat filters and doing live improv skits on Twitch uh, and, 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 and doing that for a living. I was content. This right here, never in a million years did I think I would be doing this content. I don't necessarily want to do this content. It's, it, it's not something that necessarily excites me, but I need to do this content. I understand that there is a need for it, um, and that's why I do it. So sometimes I beat myself up, you know? And although I don't show you guys that side of me, I mean, I'm sure there's videos somewhere online of me crying at some point on some live stream, but for the sake of these videos, you know, it would be, um, I, I, I think a lot of people would discredit what I would say, like, for example, me telling you to get your emotions in check, but then the next video, I'm, I'm crying my eyes out. Like, nobody's going to pay attention to that. So, uh, and and it's really interesting because a lot of you guys refer to me as stoic, which is pretty cool. Um, but, like, I have emotion. I just don't show it to anyone right now because this isn't the time for that. 
it's not the time for that. Um, and, and if I, if I personally am looking for a leader or looking for someone to, uh, you know, help or whatever, I, I, I will look for someone that is, I guess, exhibiting traits of a leader, not someone that's going to cower away and cry and just like, oh, woe is me. The world is ending. No, I like, I, I can't do that, but I, I still wanted to make this video to let you all know that I am human just like everyone else. And if you are feeling a certain type of way because of all the things happening right now in society, I listen, I totally, I totally get it. Uh, but I, what I do want to emphasize on is that um, you got to take it easy. You got to take it step by step. Okay. Um, uh, understand that you have to, you can only control what you can control. So doom scrolling all day and, you know, just keeping yourself in this constant state of panic and anxiety because you're anticipating the worst to happen. That's not going to do anything. And if this legitimately is, uh, a war uh, on on uh, our mental health, a psychological war, war, we need to do our best to protect our brain because that's what's going to help us come out victorious on the other side of this. Um, so, y'all, um, that, that's pretty much it. Just take a break. Take a break. Relax. And uh, have a nice balance of informing yourself and doing what you can personally to help, but also not letting it consume you. Because I think that is, I, I really do believe that is the goal of these propaganda machines that are trying to fear monger you and keep you in this constant state of panic. I think that's the goal. They want to wear us down to the point that we focus all of our energy into fighting other people uh, or... Uh, wear us down to the point that we say, okay, I give up. No. No, we're not going to do that. We're not going to give up. But we need to make sure that we are cognizant of how much of our time we are giving to this situation, right? We There are a lot of other countries out there that, you know, go through genocide and, and deal with, you know, mass starvation deal with deal with dictatorship uh and they still go about their day and try to make the best of their situations because it's all about perspective and right now we have to be thankful for the fact that you're still here and you you know a lot of people still have their friends and their families uh, not everyone but for the most part a lot of people do um you know and I think we have to look towards the positives that we have in life while still being informed about what's happening in the world. Uh, basically, just be prepared, but don't let it consume you. Um, and I think, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to say about that topic in particular. And if you enjoyed the format for this video... Let me know. Uh, I might make some more. Maybe I'll show you what I do to personally decompress from all this craziness. I love you guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit subscribe. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> My boy, what the hell do you want to eat? What do you want? You want, <laughs> you want the combo? Do you want the combo? What do you want to eat? I would like a happy meal. You want a happy meal? All right, my boy, look, here's some, here's some bread. I got some bread and some onions for you. Is this what you want? Get the hell out of my drive-thru. Get out. Atari 500. Would that work for you? Does that play Fortnite? No, sir. You don't need a console to play Fortnite. You can literally just play with twigs and rocks, and it would be the same exact thing. I don't understand. Okay, I don't expect you to, sir, considering you play Fortnite. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, just get me 
an xbox out here asap and i will leave you alone